Welcome to our end of week news bulletin. My name is Koplo Kibwanga Ferdinand. The KDF Weekly Bulletin is a show to keep you updated on events undertaken by the Ministry of Defence over the week. Before going into details, let me take you through some of the stories that we have lined up for you in this bulletin. Signing of performance contract for senior military leaders. Vice Chief of Defence Forces hosts the Parliamentary Committee on Sports and Culture at Uhuru Gardens National Monument and Museum. ICRA Force Commander visits Kenyan contingent troops at Goma International Airport. Military Wives Association of Kenya holds special general meeting. And in sports, we look at the State Peace Football Tournament. The Honorable Aden Duale, the Defense Cabinet Secretary, hosted the Israeli Ambassador to Kenya, His Excellency Michael Lotem, who paid him a courtesy visit at the Defense Headquarters here in Nairobi. The CS noted that the two countries faced similar security challenges ranging from terrorism, violent extremism and organized crimes and the need to partner in combating the threats. Honorable Duale informed the delegation of the continued efforts of the Kenya Defense Forces in the expansion and modernization of its structures to combat modern-day threats. The CS and the delegation discussed areas of mutual collaboration between the two countries, including areas of cyber security, counter-improvised explosive devices, border security and training of special forces. Accompanying the Israeli ambassador were officials from the Israeli aerospace industry. General Francis Ogola, Chief of Defense Forces, has conducted an interview on the Kenya Defense Forces nationwide recruitment drive. The interview will air on KBC television station on Wednesday, 23rd of August from 9 p.m. To get more details on the recruitment process, you are encouraged to tune in. Here is a snippet of it. Of course, I mentioned that um, this recruitment attracts a lot of attention. Yes. And part of it, uh, General, is the tag that probably it's a corrupt process. You know, there are those who say you have to focus much as 700,000 shillings mm. to get a recruitment letter. You know, John, that is uh, very unfortunate. We've had this, you know, we've had people posting in Facebook that KDF is corrupt. The, it can't be that. This, we have put measures in place to warn everyone. Recruitment is free and we want those who want to join because they're interested mm. in serving in the military. Now, when I hear that somebody is paying 700 to, to join, honestly, as a CDF, I wouldn't want a soldier who has paid his way into the service. How will he serve? How will you defend your country if you've already paid 700,000 to join? And in other news, still at the defense headquarters, General Francis Ogola, Chief of Defense Forces, earlier this week led the services, directorates, and defense controlled units in signing performance contracts for the financial year 2023 2024 at the defense headquarters here in Nairobi. Performance contracts are roadmaps which aid the Kenya Defense Forces as a whole to accomplish its mandate of protecting and defending the country's sovereignty and territorial integrity from external aggression. While guiding the department's representative, General Ogola urged those present to uphold prudent utilization of resources aligned within the budget. These will sustain the excellent performance of the military. He viewed the performance contract as a cornerstone of the Kenya Defense Forces journey towards greater excellence, boosting operational readiness, welfare and infrastructure development to empower personnel and improve capabilities. The Chief of Defense Forces thanked and congratulated the officers for their dedication, patriotism and leadership in their capacities. Still on matters performance, Mr. Patrick Mariru, Principal Secretary for Defense, opened a one-day workshop for the civilian administrative officers at the Defense Headquarters in Nairobi. During the workshop, the PS appreciated the administrative officers for their exemplary work. He highlighted that the civilian staff are an essential component in supporting the Kenya Defense Forces to achieve its mandate. 
In his remarks, Mr. Mariru urged the administrators to set targets and cascade the performance contracts to the lowest cadres. This, he said, would enable the Ministry of Defense to assess its performance in line with the directive of His Excellency Dr. William Ruto, President of Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces. His sentiments were echoed by Dr. Lilian Zavi, the Director of Human Resource Management and Development, who stated that a performance contract is a key tool in assessing service delivery. The workshop was attended by civilian administrative officers from all Kenya Defense Forces units across the country. Major General Afasad Kiyugu, the Force Commander East African Community Regional Force, also known as ECRAF, made a command visit to Kenyan contingent troops deployed at temporary operating base at Goma International Airport in North Kivu Province, Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. The Force Commander called on the troops to remain truthful to the mandate of ECRAF and commit to work jointly with armed forces of the Democratic Republic of Congo and United Nations Organization Stabilization Mission in the Democratic Republic of Congo, also known as MONUSCO, to promote peace and security in Eastern DRC. Major General Kugu asked the troops to ensure operational synergy with the counterparts from MONUSCO, Armed Forces of the Democratic Republic of Congo, Goma International Airport Security, and other actors to ensure the protection measures in place for the airport are synchronized. Now here we have a mission to call a mandate. Mandate yet to happen. Ni kusaidiana na serikali ya Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo, ili tuweze kusaidiana tuundishe amani upande wa North Kivu. He expressed confidence that ICRAF will establish lasting peace and stability by combating challenges experienced in the region. Base Commander Wajia Air Base Brigadier Steven Sane presided over the first Kenya Air Force graduation ceremony of the Response Rescue Unit Pararescue Calls at Kamanga in Isiolo County. Speaking during the ceremony, Brigadier Sane congratulated the participants for having completed the pararescue training and thanked the facilitators from the United States Air Force and all instructors for their contribution to mentoring the service personnel. The new skills learned are part of the collective Kenya Defense Forces capability set in combat search and rescue and personnel recovery. And now, on news that will take us back to the Pope maiden visit to Kenya, General Francis Ogola, Chief of Defense Forces, graced the handover ceremony of the Pope Mobile to Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops at the Defense Headquarters here in Nairobi. While giving his speech, General Francis Ogola, Chief of Defense Forces, termed the day as special and historical as it offered the congregation a very rare opportunity to witness the exchange between the state, represented by KDF, and Catholic ecclesiastical community. The Chief of Defense Forces further reminded the congregation that the visit by the Pope to Kenya eight years ago was just a launch of an ongoing mission, dispensation, that should continue within the Kenya Defense Forces and the country at large. I trust and believe that the coming of the Holy Father eight years ago to Kenya was just a launch of an ongoing mission, dispensation, that should continue even today. On his part, the Archbishop of Nairobi, Most Reverend Philip Agnolo, lauded the government for offering support to the church during the Pope's visit. The transition now places the management of the vehicle into the hands of the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops for safe custody and future usage. Moving on, Lieutenant General Jonah Mwangi, the Vice Chief of Defense Forces, hosted the Parliamentary Committee on Sports and Culture at the Uhuru Gardens National Monument and Museum here in Nairobi. The visit comes after a recent meeting between Honorable Aden Duale, the Defense Cabinet Secretary, and the committee members. The meeting discussed the return of Kenyan artifacts to the country, guided by the 1970 United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, also known as UNESCO Convention. While engaging the parliamentarians, the Vice Chief of Defense Forces highlighted the importance of the museum, stating that it was envisioned as a central repository for Kenyans' rich history and culture. The chairperson of Parliamentary Committee on Sports and Culture, Honorable Daniel Wanyama Sitati, relayed gratitude to Kenya Defense Forces management for the achievement of the multi-agency project. 
The committee member's recommendation was that the 16 galleries domiciled at the museum should be a representation for Kenya's heritage and the 42 communities living in Kenya. And now on welfare matters, the Military Wives Association of Kenya, also known as MWAC, held its special general meeting and subsequently celebrated the commissioning of new members at the defense headquarters here in Nairobi. While presiding over the event, Ms. Eileen Ogola, the chairperson, acknowledged the unwavering commitment and dedication of MWAC members towards their mission of working far together since its inception in 2021. In her opening remarks, the chairperson emphasized the importance of MWAC as an organization of compassionate individuals who work together in unity with a common goal of propelling KDF families using the family-centric approach. The chairperson also noted the organization's focus in the next half of the year, which includes mobilization of new members, economic empowerment, and addressing the special needs of children and personnel able differently in KDF, among other activities. The general meeting also provided a chance for members to deliberate on opportunities available to the association, like mentorship, matters of education, and maternal health, among other opportunities. And in health matters, Moi Air Base Aviation Hospital held a low-level commander sensitization seminar to create awareness among service personnel on matters of HIV and AIDS. Personnel who attended the seminar were taken through several topics related to HIV and AIDS, such as stigma discrimination and disclosure, evidence behavioral interventions, drug abuse and gender-based violence. They were also educated on the legal aspects of HIV and AIDS, especially with concern to knowledge of one's status. In this address to the service personnel, Colonel Frederick Mutai, the chief nursing officer, stressed the need for Kenya Air Force personnel to get tested regularly. He also emphasized the need for personnel to be at the forefront of fighting the virus through prevention measures and contribute to ending HIV and AIDS stigma. And now in sports, Kenya Defense Forces troops operating under Operation Maniza Ohalifu in the North Rift defeated a hybrid team formed from Capedo and Chemolingot teams 3-2 in the finals played at KDF Chesitet forward operating base. This was after a thrilling semi-final match between Capedo Football Club and Chemolingot Football Club where Capedo Football Club was knocked out by Chemolingot by two goals to one. The tournament, dubbed the Peace Cup, was aimed at developing the fragile peaceful relationship between the Turkana and Pokot communities that have previously engaged in intercommunal feuds. The tournament saw hundreds of youth from Capedo in Turkana County and Chemolingot in Baringo County turn up for the event. The KDF troops, led by officer commanding Major David Wema, gifted the visiting teams with an array of football paraphernalia ranging from full uniform and training equipment. Thank you for watching. We look forward to your feedback via our official social media handles and your viewership next Friday on the KDF Weekly News Bulletin. My name is Koploki Bwanga Ferdinand. Goodbye.